Yes, 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 but also no. It's time for another episode of Unbox Tragedy. It's like Unbox Therapy with Lou, except that everything I unbox is undesirable, but in a good way. So this is a delightful item from China, where else? They, they've got all the best stuff. UV anti acarian I'm going to have to look that up. Germicidal lamp 20 watt. And this is the second attempt to trying to get one of these. The first one, I made an attempt a while ago when I was doing a video about other ultraviolet stuff. Uh, the first one didn't turn up. I wonder what happened. Did it get delivered to the wrong address or did it just get intercepted in the postal system or did it just not get shipped at all? Uh, if it did get shipped to the wrong address and they opened it up and thought, oh, a free lamp and completely ignored the fact it wasn't their address on the package, then they were in for a really bad education if they plugged this in. Because this is an ultraviolet lamp. It puts out UVC, which is the very short wave ultraviolet through this special glass uh, and it sterilizes rooms. And if I plug this in, I'm going to plug it in very briefly. I'm not going to spend too long gazing at this blue wonder. Uh, here's the flickery hoppy meter for analysis. If I plug it in, it lights up this delightful blue. And see that purple then? That is real. That's what it looks like. It's fantastic in a bad way. Oh, I can smell the ozone already. Uh, 150 milliamps at our splendid 245 volts and uh, 20 point, uh, 21 watts per power pretty much, uh, 0.56 power factor. Uh, let's unplug it. Before I unplug it, let's run it. I can feel it. I can feel sort of, is it heat or is it just the action of the light? Uh, but the back of my hand now smells of burnt pork. That's bad. Let's unplug this. And therein lies the problem. You see, this is based on standard compact fluorescent lamp technology, and I can show you. It's quite nice that you can zoom in it uh, like this. And inside you can see the heated cathodes with the little uh, spiral filament with a coating on it that once it's up to temperature emits electrons and it lowers the, the strike and run voltage of the tube. That's why it's called hot cathode, because the cathodes here run hot. Also, there's a little stem with a slug of metal on it. That is a getter. Uh, what that does is uh, once the tube's been processed and vacuum sealed and everything and uh, it's heated up, that getter then actually starts taking impurities out of the tube. It's just part of the actual process of the tube. It's also worth mentioning that although this is a mercury vapor tube, there's no visible droplets at all of mercury, not even the slightest haze. It really is using the tiniest amount because it is based on super eco-modern compact fluorescent technology. And although it follows the normal technology up to a certain point, the difference is in the glass. The glass is a specific type that passes UVC, which is a very short wavelength of ultraviolet that is normally blocked by the normal fluorescent tubes. The normal fluorescent tubes would have the uh, possibly soda glass. I think it's possibly soda glass, but uh, it's got a phosphor coating inside and the UV wavelength that's emitted by the mercury is converted into visible light. The visible light then passes through the glass, but the dangerous ultraviolet one doesn't pass through the glass. So this is, a, I think it's Pyrex glass they use, although it possibly is just a glass that's optimised specifically for passing UVC. Mercury vapour has, although it looks blue, it's actually putting out two, well it's got a few, few bands, a few wavelengths, but the two prominent ones are UVC, the invisible ultraviolet one, and blue, which is the lovely blue light that it puts out, which is unfortunate because that's what makes it visually quite desirable if you don't know what it is. Um, and the circuitry in the base is most likely just the standard compact fluorescent circuitry. I, I should take one apart sometime. Uh, I'm not going to take this one apart because I've kind of I kind of like this because it's so bad. As I'll, I'll show you it lit later on, uh, in a room so you can actually see the effect. But the idea is that you screw these into a lamp holder in a room. You then turn the light on and you leave the room and it exposes the whole room with nobody in it. That's quite important, that bit for skin and eye damage perspective. It exposes it to UVC radiation, which not only creates, uh, it breaks down the oxygen in the air, it splits the oxygen molecules apart into separate oxygen atoms, then they recombine in sort of random clusters, either individual atoms of oxygen or um, triple clusters to create ozone, possibly more complex structures as well. But it basically, it creates ozone. It does say in this case here, it says O3, 
because it, well, that's one of the most notable characteristics, the smell. But it also puts out the shortwave ultraviolet, which will kill bacteria in the air, and it'll kill just about everything in the air. It's quite destructive. I don't know the range of this. I don't know if uh, if you put it in a modest-sized room, will it kill stuff in the carpet? Will it kill stuff in the walls? I couldn't tell you. Um, but if you were to go into a room with these lit, and that has happened in a couple of instances, uh, where one that I mentioned recently was a fashion event where they had a sort of nightclub event in a, was it a clothing store or something like that? And they decorated it with UVC germicidal tubes, thinking they were just a visually nice blue tube. And the people who attended the event suffered this sort of arc flash. Because if you look at uh, an ultraviolet uh, tube like this, it causes skin damage to the the surface of your skin. It doesn't go too deep, but it's the surface of the skin and, unfortunately, the surface of your eye. And it causes an effect that because it irritates the surface of your eye, you end up, it feels like you wake up in the middle of the night and suddenly it feels like someone's throwing sand in your eyes. It's really unpleasant. Um, and all they can really do is put painkiller drops in your eyes to try and uh, get past that. It just it gets better over time. If you expose skin to it, uh, it will cause blistering and damage in the skin surface. It doesn't penetrate as deep as UVA and B, which are the primary sunlight ones that cause the sunburn damage. But the UVC is probably a factor in that because uh, it is quite destructive. It's notable, these little slugs here I think are... Uh, resin. And uh, th when I first got this tube, those little slugs of resin were just crystal clear like water, like the glass. Uh, they've gone yellow. Uh, that is a characteristic of the ultraviolet because uh, it does break stuff down. Presumably the resin in that instance is broken down. So if you want to find one of these on eBay and you're going to have to make a decision, uh, do you really want one of these? I think it might only be available on 220 volt. I'm not sure if it's available on 110, 120 volt. But the search keywords are E27 for the lamp holder and then germicidal. I think this may be common in China as a sort of like a, a room deodorizer and sterilizer. Not sure. Um, but those are the keywords, E27 and germicidal. But do keep in mind if you order one, it will most likely be 220 volt. And also make sure your family knows what it is. Show them it and say, this one with the clear tube, uh, show them it lit briefly if you want, but only very like for seconds. Uh, but make sure they know that it puts out harmful light. It will cause skin and eye damage. And uh, all that leaves is for me to plug this into a lamp holder now and show you it lit because uh, unfortunately it looks great. It's just... It's one of these things that, you know, it's dangerous, but it's great because of that. I don't want to encourage you to all to go and buy them, obviously. But uh, I kind of like this. But uh, let's go and take a look at it. Operating. Oh, yeah. See, that's the problem. It looks stunning. Uh, now, I want to point out that I'm not looking directly at, at this lamp, and I do have glass glasses on, which would help, but this is not something you want to be in a room with. So I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you it lighting the walls in the vicinity with that really lurid blue glow, and I'll tell you that this room smells very ozonian sterile. But uh, yeah, it's an intriguing lamp. I don't actually recommend buying one unless you really know what you're buying, but it's very, very intriguing.